middle school kind of shaped you for high school mm -hmm. and high school like you said prepared you for college for sure uh, and what college did you go to went to FAMU Florida and m uh, historically black school in uh, historically black college well university down in Tallahassee Florida um, really cool time man I was it's interesting too because looking back at the time I was I, I'm from Detroit. I've gone to black schools. I've gone to a black church. I've lived in a black neighborhood. My whole experience, my whole experience has been black. And at the time, I was thinking, I was like, oh, well, I don't really have to go to a black college, like, because I've had this black experience, and I'm a black person. Right. But not thinking about that we're not a monolith. And one of my favorite professors, Dr. Natalie King Pedroso, who was like my freshman composition professor, she would always say like, we're not a monolith. And that was something that was good to to hear and to really um, sink in because it's like, yeah, it was like my freshman year roommate, my guy Chase, like he was from Jamaica. Like, and just so many people from either the islands or overseas or just from the South or the West or different, like even the difference between somebody being from Chicago versus Detroit or somebody being from Atlanta versus Houston versus, you know, uh, the muck of Florida and, and like Bell Glade or whatever it is out LA or just just getting introduced to all these people these various cultures upbringings and and everything it was it was really dope and it was just it was a good eye-opener like oh yeah like just because you've had these experiences before like we're not one thing and so just getting that experience getting that like family I remember my brother came to visit me one time on campus and him just saying like just the just that the family love was real like he just he could feel it and it was like he was embraced. It was like, oh, this is your brother? Like, this is our guy then. And it was just, people really showed love. There was really a concern and like professors, like even in the, the big lectures would, would be like maybe, you know, a couple hundred or something like that, but it wasn't anything like, like a Michigan State would probably be or anything like that. But then, and then the smaller, like more major classes or different things like that, that would be, you know, similar to a middle or a high school where it'd be like 30 something people or something like that, or even less. And it was just that really it really was a, a a familial thing and it's it's something i appreciate and i i miss you know just those times of, of being able to have those bonds and and building those relationships with folks and again still have just good good friendships good relationships from from those times and grateful like i was able to have that experience i another thing again it's like our our school motto is like excellence with caring and i mean before i even got there somebody showed that for me like the at the time it was the the 1600 point um sat and so it was like the the scholarship for tuition was i think it was like a 3.0 and a 1200 score so i had like a 3.2 3.3 and i had an 1190 mm -hmm. so by right i'm short of the mark right. so i mean over five, you round up, but I mean, I can't. This, you know, this this day money. Like, I can't just be like, yeah. it's like I didn't, I didn't, I didn't meet the mark. But whoever I was talking to, God bless them. I wish I knew it was so I could like thank them and just say how they changed my life. Like they, they were working with the scholarship department, the the the, and they bumped me up. Like they were like, hey, I know you. It's supposed to be twelve hundred. You're at eleven ninety. Like we gonna make sure that you you get this scholarship because you come from out of state, so it's gonna be more. Mm -hmm. You've done, you know, you have your three your your grade point average is high enough, and so, and I'm just like, wow, like I'm not even I haven't even stepped a foot on campus yet, and I'm already getting this love yeah. that I'm not gonna get at a you know predominantly white school more than likely. So just moments like that, you just. Yeah, I appreciate it. Yeah, you appreciate it, man, because it changed my life. Like, it's, yeah. you know, I didn't, I, I come from, I'm not well off. I definitely didn't struggle. You know, my parents were both working and college educated and everything. So I, I was very lucky in that regard, and I didn't have to want for anything. But also, we didn't have it. Like, it, it wasn't like they could just cover tuition for yeah, four years for out of state. Five, six figures just put up. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, it just, like, it just wasn't like, oh, we'll write a check and yeah. you good. It was like. I'm gonna have to take out some loans. I'm gonna have to, you know, figure it out. And it was like, for me to be able to get full tuition, 
was a big thing. That's huge. Yeah, it's huge. That's a huge, huge financial burden lifted yeah, off. That's huge. Yeah, that's so. Big, that's big, man. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah so. Man, we talking savings, six figure savings. Straight up, <laughs> straight up, over four years? Yeah. Like, man, it, it makes it. And, I, and again, just being fortunate, like, because I had, I had friends that had to work crazy hours to be able to support themselves and, and to help the Friday tuition costs and still might have had to take out loans and different stuff like that. So, you know, I don't take it lightly at all, nah. you know? And so just trying to make the most of the opportunity and make and, and make sure I prove I prove that person right. The lady that, that, that felt so inclined and thought of that robbery to help me get that opportunity, like God bless her. I'm, I'm thankful to this day. And yeah. and I just, you, you know, you just try to make sure you represent and, and and yeah. yep, and do do what you came to do. do so right, you, do right by the people it, who looked out for exactly, you. Yeah. exactly. Because yeah, that's she didn't have to do that. Not at all. <laughs> not a, again, like I'm not. It's a, it's 1200. I'm at 1190. I didn't I didn't hit the mark. I'm close, yeah. but no Cuban. Like I'm 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 just I'm just under. Yeah. But she she showed up. So yeah. God I'm, God bless her. I'm so what super did, thankful. What did you major in? I studied broadcast journalism. It was between broadcast journalism and business. I was trying to decide between those. And broadcast journalism, I was thinking I would be like Stuart Scott, God rest his soul, Robin Roberts. I was like, I wanted to be on air, be, you know, a sports anchor or something like that. But